All right, another DaVinci tutorial for analog video. I guess this one could work for HD as well. This is how to take a four by three or a three by two ratio video and stretch it into 16 by nine, um, hopefully with minimal effects to the actual video. Uh, the goal is to stretch just the outsides of the image, fill up the frame, um, but keep generally keep the integrity of the shot as much as we can. I'm gonna start in the edit page on this one and I'm gonna find the adjustment clip. Click on the effects tab here to get your effects. In the search window, this defaults to the folder you're in, so switch it to all folders. And I'll let you search for through all of these effects with the search. Type in adjustment and grab an adjustment clip. Um, the adjustment clip is the easiest way to do this by far. There, if you do it to the clip itself, it won't affect the black bars on the sides of the image. It will just stretch the image but keep the black boxes. I don't know why it does that, but it, it does that. And then you can also copy a shot and then make a new fusion clip out of that and do it here, which will stretch it how it's supposed to, but it um, it's not as easy to copy and move around and see the differences between. So. Um, one of these two options is great, but the adjustment clip is easier just to copy, especially if you have a complex timeline or you want to be able to just turn off the whole set of those because it, it's pretty processor intensive and will slow down your computer a lot. All right, so let's, let's do this. We made our adjustment clip. We're going to right click on it and say open in Fusion. If you do this in the Fusion page, it should work in the free version as well. Um, I'm going to hit shift spacebar and then type in lens distort. I've already got there. Just type in lens, I'll find it. And add it here. If it doesn't add it into the node tree with the little the lines, it just does this. Then just hold shift and drag it on the lines. It'll add it, add it for you. All right, and you click on there and you go up here to the lens distortion. And uh, really, you just kind of experiment with, to make it work. Uh, you can, at the end of this, copy the numbers I get to if you want. Um, but I feel like every time I do this, it's different. And I just will mess with these to try to fill out the image. So cool, I filled out the image that could work. Maybe that's good for you. I want to have less effect to it. Um, I'm going to see what the before looks like. So if I click here and hit number one on the keyboard, now that's bringing up the before in, in this window and then the after in this window. If I hit two on anything, it should bring it up in a second. So you have one and two, and you can view both of those. But then I can just see like how much did I really stretch it? Am I losing any part of the frame? Not really. It actually looks pretty good. <laughs> Let's see what... Um, another shot. The people in the frame for this helps a lot, or text helps a lot too, because you'll see like, oh, it's stretching the text really weird, or it's making making the person look fat, or the dog have really big teeth. So it's definitely stretching a little bit, but honestly, that's <laughs> that, that looks really good. Um, I kind of don't want to mess with more. I usually end up messing with these too, so let's just do it for fun. Let's bring more information back into the frame there. And so there, well, we're losing a little bit. Look at that, it doesn't affect the text at all. pretty good. I mean, you can see a little bit of stuff in the text. It's definitely not bad. Now, um, this is a three by two frame. So this is the DJI DVR records in 
712 by 480, so 720 by 480 basically. Um, let's do this on another clip. Oh, it's a before and after. D disable, so you can just disable it, see what it was like before and after. But that worked really well. Um, I'm gonna hold Option and just drag this to the next one we wanna do. This is the beauty of the adjustment clip. I can trim that. I guess technically I could just drag one across the whole thing. Um, but this is, the, it doesn't work. So this one is not a three by two. This is a four by three, 640 by 480. Um, so we have even more stretching we have to do on this one. So let's jump into Fusion page. My computer's definitely chugging, even though this is a a beast of a computer. Um, all right, let's keep stretching it. That's not bad. I think this is kind of stretched vertically already, like this tree, it's, it's definitely stretching a lot on the edges, but it already kind of had a tall look to it. The centers are mostly untouched, which is good. Actually, it's not, not bad at all. Um, but yeah, that's a simple way to do it. Now I could say too, this one was, what's this one? This is 3-2, so I can copy my 3-2 settings over. Oops, it's so, uh, it's so slow. Might as well make these a different color so I can tell the difference. If I had a whole bunch of clips, I would want to do that. And this one is 4-3, so. Why this one? And now they're all stretched out. All right, so that's taking your four by three or your tall video and making it 16 by nine. Hope that helps. <laughs>